What's up guys, I'm Mackenzie and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough on some tips and tricks of FIFA 15 career mode on how to get some extra money during your FIFA 15 career mode so it would make it a lot more interesting and if you're a smaller club this will help a lot more not if you're someone like United or City with a lot of money to begin with if you're with someone who's not got a lot of money but still a little bit you'll this will be the best for them but uh, yeah, if, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, any advice, or video suggestions down below. And also, if this video can hit 10 likes or somewhere around that, a decent amount of likes, then I'll put up another video on how to get more money on FIFA 15, because I, I might think of another way. But anyway, let's get it. First, you're going to want to create a new career. And because I said this is going to work with a team with semi-amount of money, we're just going to go manager, of course. I'm going to go... You can do that, of course. That... That increase your starting budget is going to make it a lot easier. So I'm just going to... I'm not going to use that, okay? So pretend you don't even have that. We're going to go down to League 1. This will work for even lower teams. But, you know, League 1 is probably the minimum. So we're going to go Bristol City. No, we'll go we'll go Barnsley. Barnsley. So pretty much pick whatever settings and stuff you want for your team. I'm going to do Lini and, of course, Dollars because I'm here. Squad use, can't use them. Just do current that. You just want to advance, go into it, miss the manager, seems about right. The manager set to take Barnsley by storm, and this is when it gets tricky. Okay, so pretty much here you see, we are in the first day of the month, and we have all these. We don't, well you guys of course, if you, this is going to be a serious career mode for you, you will see all these things, you need a striker, and all that stuff, whatever, whatever. But pretty much the thing you're going to, pretty much the thing you are wanting to see is your finances. And this is pretty much a big part of it. See, you've got wage budget and transfer budget. Of course, if you're going to be able to team with a lot lower transfer budget, this is probably going to be something you're going to want to use a lot more. But of course, with that transfer budget, we could go and sign someone big. Or we could just say, we're going to have an average season this season. We're going to pour all our wage, all our money into the wage. Now we've got 53,000. And this is going to work, especially if you've got a low team. Like I say, probably lower than Barnsley even. But uh, yeah, that's going to work. As you see... It's a pretty woeful team. But what you want to go do is go into search, transfer status, free agents, and then you kind of want to just make sure they're young. You don't want too many old players because they're not going to sell for much, which is what you want to do. You want to find some players, probably scout a few players that you think might go for a lot of money. So pretty much after you've sent a few players to get scouted, you just want to fast forward as this is in the preseason. And uh, you see here, I have already put an offer for a guy who I think looks good. He looks decent. I'm just going to sign him anyway. And as you see here, this guy probably wasn't the best of signings. It was just someone I went, yeah, why not? But he is 350,000. That's not including because he is young. Before January, he is going to improve as a player, or more than likely will improve. Therefore, he will be worth even more. And from a free transfer, you will get 350,000 or thereabouts. For just selling him but there are much better players you will be able to find and if you scout them like I'm doing for a lot of other players you will get more accurate results and better money for you, you what you're buying as you see here we have got a whole lot of players who have been scouted and we're just going to go through them quickly this guy's worth 450,000 this guy's worth 625,000 this guy's worth 300 he's probably not worth it this guy's 425, that's alright. This guy's 800,000. That's nearly a million for that guy there. This guy, not, probably he's probably not worth it at all. This guy is definitely not worth it. Well, of course, it goes without saying, it's probably best to just add all your players out to go on loan and just leave, like, all your young bad players to go out on loan. That's extra money, extra wage for you to use. And that is exactly what you want. As you see, we've already got two players coming into the team here. So our wage is going to go down. But we have signed some players that will sell on in the future for more than what they're worth at the moment. Alright, we've got some more players back. So we're going to go through these players as well and see their prices. Look, he's 1.3 million. He would be a massive player to sign. But of course, his wage is going to be amazing. He's 1.3 is million. So those are the two players that we're going to look here. 1.3 million each. We're going to add to this guy. We want this guy massively. Alright guys, so you're here. We have loaned out a lot of players, so now we've got this player in, and he is going to go for a lot. And not only that, we have Im we've actually improved the team by quite a lot, and I've been skipping games, and they haven't lost yet. So not only do you are you going to make a big profit, you've improved your team for half a season anyway, and you can just get positions that you need. So yeah, it, it's kind of good as well. It 
you get money, and you play well. Alright guys, so as you see here, we are moving into the first of January, of course, when the, C the new transfer window opens. So we're going to go and now sell all of our players that we've just bought, unless, of course, you guys think they're good enough for your team, and you think, oh, well, I'm actually going to keep these players now. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what you're going to do. So, as you see, Raya here has improved a lot. He was 1.3. Now he's worth 2.1. So, instantly, if I just sell this guy, I've made money. So, uh, yeah, that's good, apart from no wage. But, you know, so we're just going to go here, sell the rest of the players, and hopefully they'll get bought. First offer's coming here for Thames, so it's coming for 900,000, which you just want, you don't want to sell them. That. I'm just going to go 1.3 what he's worth of course you could finally you could probably negotiate him to go for more than that also with these players they haven't grown much because they've you've I've been skipping it so if you actually play the games or even you just normally sim it these players will grow a lot more and therefore be even worth more and you'll be making even more money from it all right guys so pretty much that is the whole transfer season done and I have more than what I started with a lot more than what I started with in fact if I get the same wage budget I've gained myself pretty much a million dollars but there's only one real thing with this my players got injured so I didn't sell but if they didn't get injured they would have sold and also look at this top of the league with simian games with this team because the players made it so much stronger so guys that is pretty much going to be it this isn't the best of tips I'll admit that myself it's not 100% working as we've seen today but I have even I've made a profit off it anyway and my team is a lot better but uh, yeah, that's, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do here. If you've enjoyed and this has helped you, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, advice, video suggestions down below. Help me reach a 1,000 subs before the end of the year. Also, if you want to see any more things like this, comment them down below and I will get on it as I have a better idea in my mind. I just want to get this one out first. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.